Hey everyone, how's it going? So in today's tutorial, I'm gonna dive into a detailed comparison between Topaz Labs Photo AI and Adobe Lightroom's classic denoise features. I've recently just come back from a trip to Finland where we were out there photographing bears and wolverines and lots of other things. And this particular shot here, I purposely used a thousand ISO because I, I wanted to test out the new features that are in Topaz Labs. Now when I say new features, they're new features to me because I've not used it for about five years. And coming back from the trip, I thought I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna do a test and see which one comes out the best. Now I must admit, I have been really impressed with Adobe Lightroom's denoise feature. It is done really really well especially since it's come out of beta testing i'm really happy with it but i want to run a test and i thought this would be a perfect opportunity to show you guys and then you can decide what works best for you so the first thing i'm going to do is bring this into topaz photo ai so once you've purchased it it will automatically upload into lightroom for you so as you can see as it comes in it basically removes noise automatically for us because it comes into this here these enhancements and denoise is automatically selected now if we click on it we do have a few options here we've got normal strong and extreme and all these are going to do is change these settings down here as well so we can increase the strength and we can bring it back as well now one of the things that I don't want to do is push this to the extreme where the image starts to look like it's a bit blurred where it just becomes a little bit too soft got to be really careful with that i think anyway so then within this denoise feature we have the minor de blur and then original detail now what i'm going to do is push the original detail up to halfway just because that's what I always do in Lightroom. So I'm gonna try and give this a really even comparison. And then the minor de blur here, this states that it will slightly sharpen the images and counteracts the softness caused by the noise reduction. So that's what I was talking about a minute ago. So let's boost that up because I'm always very aware of over softening or indeed over sharpening something as well. So let's see what that does. Okay, it's done a pretty good job there. You can see there's the original and there's the after. So that, let's export that. That should then save that back into Adobe Lightroom for us. And then we can have a look at Lightroom's denoise and then we can compare the two. Okay, so bringing this back in, you'll see that this is the Topaz Labs image because it's come back in as a TIFF file, you can see. This is the raw file, the CR3 file is here. So this is the final image. So let's just have a look at the before and after. So on the left, we've got the raw file and then on the right, we've got the Topaz Labs file. And you can see actually, that's done a really, really good job. It's kept a lot of the detail there. It's still pretty sharp, it's not, overcooked if i compare these areas here yeah you can see where the noise was and i was at a thousand iso which isn't really extreme but you can see that's done a pretty good job actually so yes yeah, not bad i'm quite happy with that okay so let's come back to the original file and then let's try lightroom classics denoise so on here all we need to do is select the denoise and the enhanced preview will then show up. And again, we get we get the dialog box here so we can have a look around. Now we don't have the extra features that were in Topaz, but it's supposed to do everything all in this box. So everything's all done for us. Now, as a general rule, I don't usually go above 50 just because, as I said earlier, I don't want anything looking too soft and not natural. So I'm gonna bring this back down to 57 at the minute just because i think it needs a little bit more let's have a zoom out have a look again yeah i think that will that will work so let's click enhance and let lightroom do its thing okay so lightroom's now enhanced the image so let's go in and have a look 
And yeah, that's done a really good job as expected. I thought that it would, as it has been doing since it's come out of beta testing. That's really good. I'm happy with that, extremely happy with that. So let's have a look at the others then. So this is the original and then this is Topaz Labs. So what I'm gonna do is bring up Topaz there as the reference and then this one is going to be our Lightroom noise reduction. So now we can compare the two and see which one we prefer or if they're the same or if one's better. Now to be fair, I've not done this like for like as in there are a few other features within Topaz. So there are some little benefits there from buying the software that will give you them little extra features where you can keep detail and things like that. But to me, that looks pretty identical. There's not much in there. And if I come over to here, you can see again, like for like, it looks almost identical. So let's go a little bit more extreme and let's just go in a little bit more so i'm starting to really pixel peep now so let's just let's bring that back to about 200 it's about 200 percent. so yeah again i can't really see much difference on that i don't know if you guys can but tell me what you think if you think they're identical if you think there's a better result on the topaz or the lightroom but for me they look exactly the same. I can't see any difference. So that is my test. That's what I thought I would do. So there's a lot to consider when you're buying software and you can spend a lot of money, but you're gonna get pretty much the same result. So I thought I'd run that for you. Again, entirely up to you what you wanna do. Now, I'm not knocking Topaz at all because I love their products. I think they're a great company and I think what they do works. There are other features as well with this that isn't just the denoise. So that is one benefit from using their suite. There are other stuff as well where you can load in an image and there will be lots and lots of other features that you can change. You can mess around with loads of different stuff and it is really, really good. So here, look, we can now come up to this and sharpen the image and maybe get some detail back. So again, that's one of the benefits of the features of Topaz. You could do this in Lightroom as well. You could sharpen it. So there are lots and lots of different things that you can do. Face recovery, we can also upscale this. There's loads we can do. And again, we can do a lot of this in Lightroom. But for the denoise aspect, I think that is a like for like test, in my opinion. But let me know what you guys think. And I hope this has helped. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.